Oh, let's get some light in on this. Okay, so I got the Weatherwall uh, CPO shirt. This is a size large. I'm a size 48 chest, six foot two and a half, 250, 255 pounds. And uh, it's just too tight. The size large weather wool is just too tight. Uh, on the, it's too bad too, because I wish I could have kept it. But on the website, they, uh, they tell you the dimensions of the garment. And across the chest, this is, uh, measures 50 inches. So sometimes that's enough. Sometimes it's not. In this case, it's not. So I want to show you how a, a comparable product uh, stacks up in terms of size and fit. Uh, I'm going to kind of explain. So you can see it's kind of tight in the body because you can kind of see my gut. Um, and that's fine if you just wanted to wear it like a shirt, you know, I, that, that'd be fine. But, you know, I like shirts with just a little more space in them, especially over shirts like this. So I'd have to get an extra large. Uh, it feels a little short in the sleeves. Again, the sleeves are probably a little longer on an extra large. Um, and it's definitely tight around the armpits and the back of the shoulders. It's very constricting. Um, you know, I, I wish I had an extra large here to try on to compare. But I have to tell you, like, fabric for fabric, oh, this is so nice. It's so soft. And the fabric is just amazing. Uh, I, I love this style, you know, having a collar and I love having uh, chest pockets. The collar on this is nice because you can button it down. And of course you have um, slot buttons all the way up. I'm not going to unbutton it right now because um, I'm not wearing a shirt underneath it. <laughs> but you can see here's the flaps. They have reinforcement under the flaps and there's your slot button there. The slot buttons up the front are just like that. It's just one piece of nylon tape all the way up. And um, let's see if I can unbutton the collar and flip it up. And then what I'm going to do to demonstrate how tight this, this size large CPO shirt fits is I'm actually going to put my Filson size large uh, jack shirt over it. Um, so I could wear this as a shirt and that as a jacket, which is interesting. So nice thick collar. You can flip up and that's if you just flip it up that's where it sits uh nice long tails too it goes down nice and far you know you can tuck it in but the the extra length is in the in the body is nice i, I like that um yeah it's just too, it's too constricting which is just a bummer um and then here's the felson jack shirt over the top i've never actually done this before so this is the very first time i've even attempted this yeah of course, I have to flub it on camera. Wool, when you're putting wool over a wall, it can get kind of um, a little bit interesting because wool is pretty, uh, it tends to cling, you know, it's not a real smooth material, so it can be tough to do that. All right, so now this is the Weather Wool CPO shirt underneath the Filson. Now, if I had the CPO shirt sized properly, uh, there's no way I'd go for the Filson. No way at all. Um, the CPO shirt is so much softer. The fabric's tighter knit. It's uh, less likely to let rain and uh, uh, wind through it. But yeah, so there it is. I can put the Filson right over the top. And uh, all the constriction I'm feeling is in the weather wool. None of it's in the Filson. The Filson has a more boxy cut. The weather wool has a more kind of trim cut. I think, you know, in an extra large uh, CPO shirt, I'm sure it'd be perfectly comfortable. In fact, I had one in the past. The first weather wool product I ever had was an extra large CPO shirt and it fit great. I didn't have any problems with it, but um, the weather wool products have a less kind of utilitarian boxy cut as compared with the Filson product. So anyway, yeah, you can use them together if you want. I have something in my pocket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, I guess, you know, I, I did a jack shirt review already. You can watch that. Um, you know, the, the Phyllis and Jack shirt's great. I, I would not pay the current retail price for one. I just I think that's insane. 400 bucks is what they're 
going for. I think they have one model for 350, but that's just nuts. Uh, Any way you want to cut it. And uh, these retail for 475, and that's a bargain as far as I'm concerned. So if you're gonna ask me retail to retail, this CPO shirt versus the uh, Phelps and Jack shirt, I think you're a fool if you go with the Jack shirt. Unless you're getting the Jack shirt for other reasons. Maybe you like the way it fits better. Maybe you like the way it looks better. Maybe you don't like the fact that Weatherwall has severely limited colors. Yeah, get a Jack shirt. I still don't think you should pay 400 bucks for it, though. I think that's that's pretty nutty. Um, yeah. Anyway, this one's going to be going back to Weatherwall, so it will be posted once again on the lending library. So if anybody wants to try it out and or buy it, uh, they are selling this for 375 if you choose to keep it. If you do not choose to keep it, you pay 30 bucks. They give you a return label. You can try it on. You can send it back, and all you're out is 30 bucks. And so for 30 bucks, uh, I was able to get this here, and I was able to do a video and show you guys what a, a Lynx CPO shirt looks like. This is the midweight fabric. It's, uh, I love it. I, I just wish that it fit. <laughs> oh, yeah, some differences between it and the Filson. The Filson doesn't have a second button. So you can undo these sleeves further and it, they're easier to roll up higher. You can certainly roll the sleeves up on this guy, but it's tough to get them kind of past the crook of my elbow. This one, it's pretty easy to get them past the crook of my elbow here uh, because, because it unbuttons further. It just makes it easier to roll it up. That's a nice feature. The pockets between the two are pretty similar in size. You know, the, the Felsen, the uh, flaps don't button down on the Felsen. So you lift the flap and then the pocket itself has the eye for the button. Where on this, it's all in the flap. Um, you know, the material on these, I don't know which one is thicker. I mean, Filson says their Seattle wool is 18 ounces and um, Weather Wool says their midweight is like, I think it's like 12. But, you know, nobody, the running, they measure the weight of the running yard and nobody cuts the running yard. There's no standard. So a running yard from Weatherwool could be half the width of a running yard from Filson. So that could explain that. And it doesn't really necessarily tell you, uh, it's not an accurate or consistent measurement with which to judge the thickness of a fabric, unfortunately. So um, because it's there's no standard, at least that's how I understand it. Uh, I would say that the material, like for example, the cuff on the, CPO shirt where there's two layers and like the collar is definitely thicker on the CPO shirt. There's, there's no question about that. And the thickness of the midweight fabric, it, I mean, it's about the same. I mean, it's just, feel, I mean, I don't know, it's not very scientific, but it's about the same. And I can tell you that midweight weather wool stops water and wind better than this does like it's it's not even close my hoodie is also midweight it's the same as this and uh, i've worn my hoodie in every condition i can in my area where i live and wherever i've traveled i've worn this in the same conditions and the hoodie outperforms that in every possible way it's better at retaining heat it isn't as hot uh to wear it when it starts to warm up which makes no sense to me i don't know why that's the case it's the case i swear to god it stops more rain and it doesn't let wind in as easy. Um, I mean, this midweight stuff, I mean, it's pretty comparable to a Filson full on Mackinac 26 ounce in terms of its, you know, ability to keep out rainwater and, and wind. I mean, maybe the 26 ounce is a little bit better, but it's also way thicker. So, you know, there you go. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take this guy off and pack it back up and get it back out to Weatherwall. Um, I, you know, maybe because I only have it for a temporary basis, maybe I'll loop in another video of me doing a little bit more of a close up of it. And, and there's, there's a lot of that. Weatherwall has great pictures and models and stuff. So I, I probably don't need to show you, but just to talk about, and that's great. So I'll keep my eyes on the lending library. Maybe if they get an extra large in at some point, I'll, try to get another one you know I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the links pattern on me in this but 
I like the link. I think it's beautiful. I just don't know if it's great on me or not. I uh, might, you know, maybe the, the olive drab is a better option for me. But yeah, I really like, I like this thing quite a bit. And they also just started, whether we used to call this the shirt jack, they just started making a separate product called the shirt jack. And it's, you know, it's, it's like this, but a jacket. So it doesn't have like this part it's squared off down here. I don't know if it goes down as far. It might actually be a little bit shorter all the way around. It's sort of like the Weatherwool version of a mechanics jacket almost. And it's got pockets, hand warmer pockets. They're making it primarily in the full weight. It has a larger collar than this. Um, I don't know if there's any differences in the cut. I'd imagine it's probably a little bit more squared off since it's more of a jacket and less of a shirt. This is a shirt, you know, more of a shirt, a heavy shirt than it is a jacket. So that's why they decided to start calling this the CPO shirt. And the other one is the shirt jack. Uh, but you know, and I haven't seen that yet. That's new that they had just posted some pictures on their website. It looks great. Um, yeah, well here, I'll do a little spin around too. So if any of you are watching this and you're a bigger or taller guy, uh, don't get a large if you have long arms. Um, you know, you can ask whether, well, I don't think they do tall sizing. So you'd probably have to size up, which might make it a little baggy in the body, but this is pretty trim. I mean, it's trimmer than I like, but it's, you know, if I was just going to wear it as a shirt, I wouldn't be, uh, remiss to do that. The only breaking like deal breaker on this for me, um, is, is, is the sleeve length, which it's, it's just too short for me. And then it's just too tight across the back for me. I'm very broad shouldered. Um, and I think the extra large, I don't recall it having those issues. So this just isn't my size. That isn't anything against them. It's, it was used. It was what was available. I thought I'd give it a shot. I did. It didn't work out. Well, that's nobody's fault. And uh, this is the best review I can give you, given that the only product I have to show you is too small for me. So anyway, yeah. Enjoy. Hopefully that was informative.